All right, for all you YouTuber Tessup fans out there, <laughs> how bad Tessup sucks. So anyway, the slow-mo camera, I think, is about to die. I'll upload that. But anyway, so all that water coming down in here, as you can see, I can't turn this bearing. I mean, I can get it to, I guess, twist a little bit. Nope, I can't. So that's it. I mean, it's pretty much got so much rust inside there that I, it won't turn the bearing. So... I mean, let me see if I can put my phone down here a second. See if I can get another shot of this thing some other way. Yeah. You guys might be able to see that. Now, I don't know if that's locked because of the magnets now. But I can't spin the bearing on the shaft. So this bearing itself is pretty much locked up since it's been sitting here now. But that's how much water and rust has been in there. So it's not... I'm coming close to being out of there. I don't know if I can get that with the magnets to suck out of there or not, but I might be able to. off here to get that to open up. See how much rust is in here now. Yeah, it's either holding on to the shaft. It's not letting the, the shaft go at all. There it goes. Nope, it's pulling pulling the whole thing down. <laughs> it's going to throw the top down. Oh yeah. First look here, you can see the amount of rust and corrosion is down in here. This light overshines a lot of it, but man, like I said, this is like grounding parts like that. That's pretty cheesy where it's all ground like that. That's how they manufacture these things. It's horrible. But look at the look at the amount of corrosion that's in there. You know, from rust, just from that water. Let me see if I can get this thing to pop open here and you can see it. I can catch that. Actually pulling the bearing out of the housing. Yep, that's what it's going to do. Yep, there it is. Boom. You can see all the corrosion just from all the water. So they had nowhere else to go besides over top of the bearing. Or out the, uh, actually probably the wire hole. It's probably the saving factor for the bottom bearing. But that basically went all the corrosion and all the water went out the bottom hole. So... This bearing, since the water did get out the bottom hole, still spins. That's fine. Top bearing, locked up like a mofo. This top bearing will not spin right here. There's the problem, child. That probably was, it's high and dry with the, where after the water goes across it, cause all the rust. And out of there. So. Look at that, huh? Look at the rust on that thing. Every single magnet. All of it corroded in between. Look at the rot in there. 
If a lawyer can't sue Tessa for selling inferior stuff from this video alone, I don't know what's wrong with our court system if they don't pass judgment on these people. So, as you can see, it's all got all the surface rust in there on the iron. Every single one of them is. So, and I told Tessa, hey, there's something wrong with this generator. Say, hey, there's something wrong with the generator. And the rust was probably even before I even got it. Because look at the size of this, the pitting that's inside here. That's incredible. So, all this pitting and then the bearing not moving. Look at that. So, yep. And you wonder why this thing wouldn't spin freely. So, basically because of the top seal was not waterproof. Where is it at? Over here. This is the top one. That top seal did not seal against the shaft or the bearing, the outer part of the bearing, the shaft here on the shoulder. So that right there was a problem child all along, letting the water go past here. Who knows? I mean, that, that couldn't be seen by when these top plates are on there from Tessa because they have a real small hole in the center for that. That's it. You can't see the whole thing. So that, I don't know. Buying something, you shouldn't have to tear it down to its guts before you purchase something just to find out, like, hey, there's something wrong. Well, there is something wrong. As you can see from all the rust and interior, inferior design, and the seal on there is horrible. So, yes, this will be a lawsuit against Tessa because they haven't sent me a replacement motor, and they don't want to contact me anymore for some reason. I don't know why. Go figure, right? So, if they want to be scumbags, then I guess the lawyers will have to take it from them. So, that's all I can say for that. Never buy Tessup. It's cheaply made. Not designed well at all. There's no engineers there at the company that are actually mechanical engineers or design engineers. So, an absolutely zero. And I wouldn't be surprised if InstaBreeze is a company that's actually producing these generators for them. So, I don't know who makes it. Of course... Being cheap and Chinese or whoever, there's absolutely no data plates on these things. No specifications for what it does. They just tell you what it does and their little book, which lies. This thing would never start up at four meters a second speed with their design. So as I've proven that, took 35 mile an hour winds just to get the thing to spin. And then the dumbass nurse up there at uh, Tessa decides to tell me like, hey, take out a few blades. I'm like, dude, I'm not the one who manufactured this. I'm not doing modifications. So, but I did do modifications because it's the only way to make the thing work. So it took down the six blades, doubled in size. It brought the startup speed down to 18 miles an hour from 35 miles an hour. Then I got it down to like 12 or 13 by taking three more out and then only putting three double blades in. So it's a horrible thing. And of course I was fighting against this. And I told him, I said, there's something wrong with the generator. Give me, send me a smaller generator. Tessup refused to send me a smaller generator for the same wind turbine. So we'll see what they say to the lawyers instead. All right, that's it. Sort of pissed now, but definitely going for the money.